Yo guys, Jack here. Three months ago, we launched the 3D Gaussian plotting on the Kiri Engine app. This brand new technology can turn a 2D video into a beautiful 3D scene like this. And several weeks after the initial launch, we added a powerful cropping feature on the 3D Gaussian plotting so you can edit and crop the 3D GS scene to get a standalone 3D GS asset. We've also introduced Unreal Engine add-ons where you can use your cropped and edited 3D GS assets in UE5 and create beautiful 3D environments. By the way, if you've missed any of these cool updates, feel free to check out our previous videos here. But even with all these amazing possibilities that we introduced to the Kiri Engine app, we often receive messages asking when will 3D GS have mesh. Well, I can clearly see why it happens because while the 3D GS is so cool, in the meantime, it's also so limited because of this formatting issue. For example, with 3D GS's weird PLY format, it made it almost impossible to work with on softwares like Blender, ZBrush, and so on. And wait no more, because today, I am so, so thrilled to tell you that now you can include the mesh in the 3 dgs model in the Kiri Engine app. And this marks us the only 3D scanner app up to date that can generate mesh-inclusive 3D Gaussian plotting. And here, I need to give a special shout out to our friend and also amazing researcher, Chong Jie. This project is a research collaboration between Kiri and his research team. And if you are a programmer or a researcher, make sure to follow him on a GitHub page because the exact same algorithm that powers this mesh generating process will be open sourced on his GitHub in the coming month. All right, now let me quickly show you how you can include mesh in the 3D GS scan. So just open up the option like you normally do and take a nice video of an object. And here on the uploading page, before you get to upload a video to the cloud, we added an include mesh button. Turn that on and the algorithm will make sure to generate a mesh for you. This button won't affect the original 3 dgs file and it will be an extra OBJ file alongside the 3DGS format. And when the process is finished, in the viewer, you are still seeing the file in 3DGS. But when you export, we added an option here so you can export a 3DGS in OBJ format with mesh. And this is how you can export a 3DGS as mesh in the Kiri Engine app. Then you can just open the OBJ in pretty much all of the 3D software such as Blender and start working on it. And that's pretty straightforward. Um, however, now I just want to take this opportunity and talk about what I see in the 3D Gaussian plotting in the long run. I mean, it's true that Kiri Engine is the first 3D scanner app that introduced this mesh inclusive 3D Gaussian plotting, and I'm sure that many will follow. However, this doesn't mean that we think mesh is a better representation of 3D Gaussian plotting. And in contrast, I think 3DGS has a better future without mesh. I mean, in our other video, we talk about why 3D Gaussian plotting is a big deal for us. I mean, although mesh is widely used across the 3D industry, it has many, many limitations, especially for 3D scanning. Because for the traditional 3D scanning methods that can generate mesh, the resulting quality really varies depending on the surface finishes of the object, as well as the lighting conditions during scanning. That means you can sometimes get really ugly results because of the rough mesh if you don't choose your object in the lighting condition carefully. And that's why we think 3D Gaussian plotting is a better solution because it doesn't use mesh to represent a 3D model, and instead, it uses a combination of point clouds and 3D Gaussians. But because the 3D GS is still in its very, very early days, the original file format for 3D GS isn't really getting supported by most of the 3D software. So that's why we think this mesh-inclusive 3D Gaussian plotting is an intermediate solution if you're looking for a way to further manipulate your 3D GS scan. That's it for today's update. 
And if you have any specific suggestions on the upcoming Kiri Engine features, feel free to let us know by leaving a comment down below. And we'll see you in the next video.